If you want to trade with me, I have a shadow trading program where you will be added to a private group and receive alerts in a moment's notice anytime I enter and exit a trade. Click the link in the description below and let's start making this money together. Hey, how's it going today everyone? Just want to bring you in here. Just about to close out of my positions here. Let's go ahead and uh, start off with EuroJPY since this one has the least. Let's go ahead and take it uh, to 70. Boom, there we go. So we were able to get out of that one. Um, let's go ahead and head over to USJPY here. Nice, 94, take 92. Boom, out of there. So well over $50 profit, just like that, guys. Next, I'll go ahead and show you why I decided to get into these positions. Um, and why I decided to take profits so close to expiration like that. Um, basically, this is Euro JPY. As you can see, this one was the more risky of the two. Um, so basically what you're seeing here is we did have an increase of bearish volume approaching expiration, which can be very risky. Um, we are at a support level, um, temporary support level. So based on this previous candle with the long wick bouncing off this zone, I anticipated us um, maintaining above that into expiration. Now, the tricky part is, it's just a zone. You know, I put the line here at our strike to, to visualize it on the screen, but this is really just a general zone. And even though we have the Bollinger Bands in our favor, and um, before the volume started creeping back up, we had the volume in our favor, and this candle was looking really good. But as you can see, it's actually below where our strike would have been. So it was a good call to go ahead and take what little profits we did have on that position, um, essentially almost just a break even on that position, um, and definitely capitalize off the USD JPY profits while we're still in profit, because look at this, breaking straight through. Um, so, you know, you can see the, the volume's increasing and the trend is decreasing. So we definitely wanted to get out of there. Um, basically what worried me was this long wick activity here towards the upside. Um, towards the center Bollinger Band, which is also uh, doubles as a moving average. And um, that kind of spooked me when we came up here and then we had a long retracement. So that's not good. Uh, Could have took profits way up here. You know, that's, um, I, I was anticipating holding this one into expiration. But as you can see, with this pushback here, it just was not worth it. As we approach expiration, it gets far more risky, more volatile, and that can create for a bad situation. On the other hand, as you can see, USD JPY was definitely a more favorable choice, um, although I did take profits early on this one as well. Um, basically, you can see here, this is actually a very good example of um, prioritizing quality over quantity of trading. Um, so as you can see here, we have an increase in bullish volume back into the zone. And actually, uh, I shouldn't have zoomed out because the biggest um, move is here. So as you can see, we have an established um, support and resistance area previous resistance new support why do I say that oh but it's it's almost breaching the Bollinger Band that's not good right normally you would be correct but we have an increase in volume bullish activity is present we have a close above the previous resistance zone preceded by um, long wick activity in that zone multiple long wicks in that zone increased bullish volume RSI nearly peaking um, and then as well this is the confirmation candle here as you can see using the 30 minute uh, interval candles here this red candle failed to close below our zone at the close of that candle boom get in on a contract and then you ride that profit up so we did take profits early but like i said it was getting down to the uh wire there usd jpy we were nearly at full potential profit anyways so i figured better to go ahead and take it now rather than to sit and um, and be looking foolish, you know, had uh, the trade came back against us when we could have had, you know, 80% of the total profit potential in our hand already. As you saw with Euro JPY, I certainly wasn't going to make that mistake twice there. But, you know, this is how you manage trades. Trades aren't always going to go according to plan. But as you see here, even if you have a trade that goes a little bit against you, which is funny, we actually had one like that in the shadow trading group yesterday. Uh, but we were still able to profit regardless of the trade not going the way we planned. And tonight we had another fantastic profit as well. Much easier night tonight. If you want to learn more about that, check out the Shadow Trading Program link in the description below. We would love to have you. 
And uh, just wanted to show you guys this simple trade using RSI, moving average, Bollinger Bands, trend, and volume. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace. If you want to trade with me, I have a shadow trading program where you will be added to a private group and receive alerts in a moment's notice anytime I enter and exit a trade. Click the link in the description below and let's start making this money together.